is Camellia and I am going to explain about symbol table generation. The symbol table is a data structure that contains a record of its identifier which fields for the attribute of the identifier. So symbol table is basically used using lexical analysis uh, and all the information about the uh, data. There is a data type, the variable, their initial values, number of parameter, if it's a function, etc. It is stored in the symbol table so that the uh, data can be retrieved easily and quickly. So in this program, I will give some input and it will generate me the symbol table. So I'm taking multiple inputs. Uh, so here I'm asking the number of lines to be entered. And then I'm using a loop. I'm concatenating uh, the values of the multiple line input into a single string. Now I have initially some variables for the flag, then identifier, the identifier of the function, then return type the normal type uh, then the value initial value and the number of parameters and account and the uh, arrays has the return f data uh, for the data's identifier uh, then type which is for uh, the type of the identifier then id value and number of parameters now i am taking uh, the array and uh, I'm taking the string and splitting it into the array called chr and I'm using a loop so I'm testing each and every element in the array so if uh, in case it is a character in float double so first I have to check if it is a function so if it is a comma then it is a function so uh, if uh, chi is this and it's followed by a parenthesis so the next variable the next uh, element will be the return uh, will be a value or the return type so chi that is the value before parenthesis will be the return type for the function so i am putting it into the retf array and i'm incrementing the value and uh, the uh, and i'm increment and using chi plus one identifier of the function so the first parameter uh, identifier is added into the array and so, so, since i have manipulated so i am using the int b is equal to 5 i am initializing this and then i am checking now uh, if uh, there is more parameters so if there is a comma and the parameter is and the parenthesis is not closed again i have to check the same thing and the type of the uh, variable and that is chb plus one that is the next value will be the type of the parameter uh, the next parameter and this is again included in the type array and i am uh, counting the number of parameters using this count plus plus now uh, here if it's not a function there's a chance that the data type is followed by the initial value so simply if it's a value we are giving it into the d flag we are incrementing and putting it into the data array now if uh, there is equal to symbol so it may happen that uh, the identifier is, uh, is, a, is of the type character so if it has a quotation follow uh, so there has to be a value after that so if chi plus 3 is a quote, then the next uh, element will be the uh, value. So if this is a value, I am putting it into the value and incrementing. Otherwise, if simply a character, uh, if simply there is a character and it is not initialized, I am putting it as a null or space. Otherwise, if it's not a character and normal identifier, I am initializing it as 0. If there is uh, no uh, if nothing is initialized for that uh, variable uh, again if uh, it's not end that is if there is another parameter so for that I have a comma and again I am incrementing um, the character so it may happen that it is an identifier so I am inc incrementing the id plus plus and the data is taken the current data is taken as the data of that variable so basically here we are checking if i have a character followed by equal to if uh, followed by equal to then the next element will be the um, 
value and I have to put it into the value flag if not if it has another uh, variable or parameters after that uh, then so as here like if it has uh, more variable of the same type then I am incrementing the identifier and I'm taking the data in this array so it goes on so first it checks for the function um, then the var uh, variable so in variables uh, normal variables if uh, it's of type character it checks if there are more if there is equal to and if there if there is equal to then the next element will be uh, initialized as the value otherwise if there is a comma uh, then uh, it has more variables of the same data type and it goes on using this loop so all the conditions are satisfied so here i am just printing whatever we have according to the uh, array so id data type return type initial value and number of parameters so for each and everything i am just uh, displaying the respective arrays over here so if i do i have the output as enter number of lines i give two so int a comma b equal to five int add int x int y so as you can see so identifier int a and b the initial value of a is 0 b is 5 and it's a function so this is the identifier name and it has, it has a return type int followed by the number of parameters 2 and the type of parameters is int as int and int so this is how the symbol table this is a symbol table so thanks for watching